This video is edited with PowerDirector. PowerDirector is a powerful and easy to use feature packed editing tool for both expert and amateur filmmakers. Our channel has used PowerDirector to edit our YouTube videos with since 2014, which is why we are pleased to work with this brand. This video is sponsored by Cyberlink. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is Malaysia's biggest mosque as far as I have read. We took a taxi here from KL Central which cost us nine ringgits. Maro is just taking some photographs there and then we're gonna make our way towards the entrance where we will have to, at least Maro will have to wear some traditional coverings which you can see the people are wearing here in the picture, those purple coverings ahead. This is the view in front of the mosque. See there are vendors outside. Just up the road to the right is the Islam Museum. You might want to visit that also. As far as I remember it was the Islam Art Museum. We, came, we were dropped off over there where that yellow vending truck is. Our taxi dropped us there. And up there, as I said to the right, is the Islam Art Museum. Now it's time to make our way over and get dressed accordingly. Here we are at the rope counter. You can see that we're going to take our shoes off also. There seems to be a shoe rack. There you can see the ropes hanging, those purple ropes. I think it's only the females who have to wear that. We'll find out in a moment. And here you can see the sheep manners and the visiting hours for non Muslims. Let's pause the video here if you want to see what time mosque is open for non-Muslims. I'll keep my shoes in my bag. I'm just taking her shoes off and putting them in her bag also. It would be fun to come down and your shoes are gone. It can happen. Now we're waiting for ropes. Maybe they've run out of ropes for the moment. So we're sort of queuing here in front of the staircase up to the Mosque. As the people get their robes on, they start to ascend the stairs. Maro just got her robe. Oh, it's mine, I think. Is it? Are the guys wearing one? Up we go. I also got a, one of these outfits because my knees are showing and you're not allowed to show knees. There goes Maro, can you see her? She's the one straight ahead up there in the middle. So we both stand in our outfits. Maro's longer than mine. The reason I have it on is because my knees were showing. I got shorts on. So I also had to cover myself. I also had a hoodie. Just in a moment, we're going to make our way to the National Mosque, which is Malaysia's biggest mosque. The National Mosque. We have these 
outfits are quite warm. Maro just wants me to take a photo of her with her Canon camera. We will of course be posting these pictures to Instagram and to Facebook. There she is. From head to top. In the dress of the National Mosque of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Or Malaysia's National Mosque. Just after this photo shoot, we had to run down the stairs again to the entrance because Maro found out that she actually left her bag behind. Yes, shame on you. Luckily it was down there when we got there. I'm just going to let the images speak for themselves mostly on this tour of the mosque. I think that's most appropriate in any religious place. There goes Maro down there. That's the area where we just came up, the stairway. And that lovely building there in the background are apparently the office buildings of the, of the railway. We can either go straight ahead that way or make our way past this huge water fountain down at the other end where we saw Maro walking over in this area. Maro is pointing to that clock up there which seems to have I would say Islamic numbers. If any of you know whether that's Islamic numbers please let us know down in the comments and the numbers look like this. Smooth tiles all the way. Maro. Maro here. They're rather hot these ropes. Very hot. And looking down in the direction where we came from again. Nice cool breeze blowing at the moment. Diwan Surahan Utama. Here we have a donation box. Maro went somewhere down in that direction. Sangada start following her there. It's a good thing Maro is wearing that rucksack. Then I can identify her from behind. There we have an uh, Islamic graveyard. Another big room we're coming towards. This room is in fact a mausoleum. This is a rather nice place to visit. Just warn you beforehand, Kuala Lumpur is hot and wearing these robes is very hot also. We're having 
water dripping down your face. Water is dripping down my face. <laughs> and Maro, she has her head covered, so she must be feeling a lot hotter than me. There's another graveyard beyond that fence there. One of the mosque guards. So us non-Muslims, we can look inside the praying area from the doorway. We're not allowed into the praying area. You can see a little bit here from the doorway, what it looks like inside. Very beautiful. It would be lovely to go in and have a proper look. Unfortunately, that's not possible. It's a lovely window up there. I'm sure it's written there. One of our Islamic viewers could write down in the comments what this symbol means. It would be appreciated. Those of you who are in need of Wi-Fi, there's free Wi-Fi available throughout the complex, as you can see from the sign on this picture. Quite a long explanation over there. So here we are in front of the main prayer area, We're standing by the pillars. Well, I've just got an explanation about the pillars. Apparently they're not very religious. What are they? No, we represent coconut trees in front of the veranda. The lady uh, who works here was explaining to us that when the architecture built it, this was supposed to be coconut trees. The main wall is uh, the inside of the house. And that's just behind us. And then under the roof is veranda, and these are coconut trees. I'm dying of heat here. We're going to the butterfly garden after this, and I think we're going to be showered before we get there. There is a lavatory here in the mosque, just down the stairs in the center of the mosque. 